dear students welcome to my channel topic is multiple linear regression by least square method in previous two videos concept and derivation of multiple linear regression with matrix method is covered but it is difficult to solve the problems using matrix inverse in stipulated time with least square that is normal equation of curve fitting it is easy to solve the problem of multiple linear regression let us start Many applications of regression analysis involve more than one regressor variable. A regression model with more than one regressor variable is known as multiple regression model. The method of least squares can be used to estimate the regression coefficients in the multiple regression model. For example, house rent depends on size of the house, number of bedrooms, age of the house and location of the house. Now for this, our house rent is nothing but our dependent variable by and this size of the house, number of bedrooms, age of the house and location of the house they are nothing but the independent variables and represented by the variables x1, x2, x3, x4 respectively. Now here we require to find out the parameter of this equation which is represented in a red color. So these are nothing but from beta1 to beta1, beta2, beta3, beta4. In multiple linear regression sometimes we can even skip the intercept also. Now training set having n records with k variables where n is greater than k and let xij denotes the ith observation of the variable xj. This is nothing but the training data from 1 to n records and as k independent variables are there so all values of k is given so it is in matrix form. Now here we want to find out the parameters from beta 0 to beta k by using the least square estimation. To make that least square estimation, we want to actually minimize the error. L is equal to summation 1 to n epsilon i square. This is nothing but the error with each uh, record to fit on that regression line. Now here we generally take the square of the error instead of the absolute value. Now here we are replacing this epsilon i by this equation. I already covered the least square estimation for simple linear regression the equations are same only here that as k number of independent variables are there so again we are taking this summation from j equal to 1 to k now this is equation that is summation 1 to n y i minus beta 0 minus this particular portion uh, square equal to 0 now here we require to take the partial derivative because the variables are involved from beta 0 to beta k now we are taking the partial derivative when we take the partial derivative at that time this 2 into whole bracket into x of ij will come and if we solve this equation then we are getting this least square normal equations are we are getting like this only we require to explore this equation for two independent variables that is least square normal equations are these are the three equations we can from we can form from that basic equation so these are the three equations when we are using the two independent variables when we have three independent variables our number of equations increase and we require to take the combination of that variables <coughs> now we will solve the problem let x1 and x2 are two independent variables y is an independent variable perform multiple linear regression calculate slope and intercept the problem is given and here y is dependent variable and x1 x2 are the independent variable now first if we observe this equation n is nothing but the total number of records we require to find out the summation of x1 we require to find out the summation of x2 we require to find out the summation of y we require to find out the summation of x1 y x2 y x1 x2 x1 square and x2 square so we are calculating all these things in a advance now table is prepared this is nothing but the input variables independent variable x1 x2 and y now we are taking x1 x2 x1 y x2 y x1 square and x2 square so we can easily find out this value and last column is nothing but the summation of all these variables now from this table that is summation of x1 is 12 summation of x2 is uh, summation of x1 is 15 summation of x2 is 12 in this way we can write down all the values now we have to just solve the 
simultaneous equation that is we are putting this value into these three equations and we are getting this three equations and number of parameters are beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 now it is very easy to solve the simultaneous equation only the things that we require to remember these three equations and here there is no need to extend the step that is how to solve the multiple uh, that is simultaneous equation that is we can arrange the terms to make to find out that beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 so multiply the equation 1 by 3 and subtract the equation 2 from the equation 1 so when we do this operation we are getting minus 10 beta 1 plus 6 beta 2 is equal to minus 9 we give this equation as fourth after that we multiply the equation 1 by 2 and equation 3 by 5 and subtract this from the uh, subtract this equation 3 from equation 1 and we are getting this value that is 30 beta 1 minus 26 beta 2 25 if we observe the fourth and fifth variable we can easily calculate values either for beta 1 or beta 2 so these are simple mathematical calculation so when we do this calculation we are getting first beta 2 is 0.25 beta 1 is 1.05 and once we get beta 1 and beta 2 we can put in equation any equation and we can get the beta 0 value that is nothing but 0.25 so this is nothing but our final answer now here we generally find out the error so we can calculate the absolute errors or error square also so here simple absolute error is calculated so we are putting the value of beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 and we are taking the value of x1 and x2 and we are calculating the predicted y so this is nothing but the predicted y and this is nothing but the absolute error so this is very easy to solve the problem compared to the matrix method now this is the second problem this is independent variable x1 and x2 and dependent variable y first step is to create the table so this is nothing but the three inputs are given then we calculate x1 x2 x1 y x2 y x1 square and x2 square and after that we require to take the summation of all these things after that we have as three independent variables are there so we require to take two independent variable and one intercept term so we are using these three equations and we are just putting all that values and then it becomes a simple simultaneous equation and we can solve that equation and after solving the equation we can get the value for beta 2 9.5 beta 1 1 and beta 0 1.67 and once we get beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 we can calculate the predicted y this is a predicted y and easily we can calculate the absolute error so this is the curve fitting normal equations and uh, it is very easy to solve the problem compared to matrix method so in exam as time is limited so we can easily we can easily use this method to solve the problem of multiple linear regression thank you